tackling of mathematics becomes easier. 12, 66, less 72, add 51. That is 57. A tremendous improvement in his calculating ability. Aloha has really worked wonders for her. It is our powerful mind that brings in the creatively gifted differentiation to mankind. Man's powerful mind has always progressed creating comforts, mostly materialistic, if not anything else. But the rebound of the mind's technological creation seems to have just surfaced. Creativity today is more to do with fiddling gadgets than a free flow of thoughts. Application of the mind is for operation of machines more than creating new things. It is not uncommon to see children using calculators in the exam hall and shopkeepers and accountants using computers for what is essentially a mental work. At final levels, this will lead to crippling the natural creativity of man. While this is not a conclusive truth about the next generation, it is important to understand the impact of the technological dependency into which one is born today. Machines play with you. Devices think for you. Gadgets remember for you. And systems maintain you. We have successfully reduced the problem of applying our mind on many things. The problem of dependency seems to be bigger for the next generation who are born into a certain platform not requiring the application of their mind. Is this a healthy trend? What will happen if all these machines fail one day? It is important for us to teach ourselves live with the machines while still have a balanced development of our brain. One of the time-tested methods for a whole brain development is practicing mathematics. Mathematics, basic or advanced, calls in for high application of the mind. Mathematics can help us determine principles that foster creativity and avoid stagnation. In all ages and all civilizations across the world, mathematics has seen different application methods. While our own contribution to mathematics has been the number zero, we've also had our own method of calculations which is today known as the Vedic mathematics methods. The most popular among the ancient form of mathematics and the one that has gained widespread interest among research communities across the world is the Chinese form of mathematics that uses a device called the abacus. The abacus can be used to add, subtract, multiply and divide as well as work with sophisticated mathematical problems such as fractions and square roots. One divided by 2, 3, 4 that is 7, 8 square root of 1, 2, 7, 4, 6, 4, 1 that is 1, 1, 2, 9, one, two, nine. Interestingly, the abacus is referred to as the first computer because it was used as a mathematical model for designing early electronic computers. The abacus is being used even today in many countries like China and Malaysia. Some say that since it has a better keyboard than the Western calculators, an abacus is actually faster when working with large amounts of numbers. 42 minus 9 minus 70 plus 60 minus 7 plus 11 minus 38 that is 30. What is more interesting about the use of abacus 
is the way one can be taught to mentally operate the beads of abacus and do calculations much faster than any other gadget in the world. 5 plus 8 plus 4 plus 29 minus 43 that is 1. Children who learn faster when initiated into the method have shown a remarkable speed and accuracy in calculations. She was like any other kid. Maths was not her favorite subject. But just after a few levels in Aloha, she has changed so much. She is able to crunch numbers at an amazing pace. She even comes out with answers as she goes through the problems. She never makes a mistake in spite of her speed. Maths is in her mind. Aloha has really worked wonders for her. After the full training, a child can actually give away the answer as it goes through the problem. Uh, this program has eight levels. Each level has shown a remarkable change in her and it's not very strenuous at all because it's only for two hours a week. She enjoys it very much. Each time we make a small calculation, she does it even before we spell it out. It is wonderful for her and we feel very happy after having put her in Aloha. Children are first taught to use the abacus for doing the four basic calculations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. 46 less 10 add 39 less 24 that is 51. In the subsequent levels, they are taught to mentally visualize and operate the abacus to solve the problems. 6708484 that is this visualization brings about the expanded development of the brain and makes them use both sides of their brain his grasping power has improved remarkably his creative works are much much better than what it used to be we are able to see many positive changes in him now.